Home Lighting System Installation The Selco office in Hubli receives an inquiry from an end user for a solar home lighting system. The sales executive visits the end user to discuss about the solar home lighting system. He understands the type of load requirement and the usage hours. He does the site survey to find a shadow free location to place the panel and a dry and ventilated place to keep the batteries. He also checks for the wiring layout. He understands the requirement of the end user and confirms the order. He arrives at the branch office and discusses with the branch manager about the requirement of the end user and submits the order acknowledgement form. The branch manager gives the order acknowledgement form to the office administrator and tells him to generate the interbranch memo. The office administrator raises the interbranch memo and the goods receipt note. He generates a delivery chalan which includes the material list and the tax and service invoice. He calls the end user and confirms the availability, date and time for installation. He checks the material received from the go-down as per the interbranch memo. He gets the approval and the signature of the branch manager on the delivery chalan. The branch manager briefs the technician about the order and tells him to get the material ready from the go-down. The technician gets ready to go to the site by taking all components listed in the delivery chalan from the branch go-down loads it into the pickup truck carefully and packs all the safety kit and tools required for the installation. He greets the end user and takes the signature of the end user on the delivery chalan confirming the delivery of materials. After that, he unloads the material with the help of the assistant and carries it inside the house. He prepares the components for installation. Panel 12V 20W Battery 12V 15A Charge Regulator 10A Luminary 5W Always wear a safety jacket, helmet and gloves before starting the installation. Enter the serial number of the panel and battery for warranty. Fix the module mounting structure and the panel. Connect the lugs to the wire. Red wire positive, black wire negative. Use of cable lugs allows an easy installation, repair and maintenance of electrical devices and cables. Go through the site survey form and decide the place to mount the panel. Start by drilling a hole from inside using a drilling machine and dig a hole from the top. Pass the positive and negative wires from the panel through the GI pipe. Fix the panel and tighten using a cross socket wrench. Check the direction using a compass 
and adjust the panel facing towards south direction with appropriate inclination as per the region for maximum radiation. Prepare a mixture of soil and cement for filling the hole on the roof. After fixing the panel, start the wiring inside the house. For wiring, use PVC pipes, PVC conduit clamps, elbow joints and T-joint. Use the LED tube holder for fitting the luminary and then fix the luminary. Connect the negative wire from luminary 1 to negative wire from luminary 2. Keep the charge controller on the wooden box and mark the place to drill holes for the wires. Use a drilling machine to drill 6 holes to connect the positive and negative wires from the solar panel, battery and load. Connect the charge regulator. Cut the wooden box on the side to pass the wires and PVC pipe inside. Strip the wire and attach the lugs using a wire crimper and connect to the charge regulator. Now connect battery to the charge regulator, then connect the load to the load control regulator and finally connect panel to the charge regulator. Mark the place to attach the switch button. To connect the battery, wind the wires on the rod for flexibility. Scratch off the metal part of the terminal for better connection. Apply petroleum jelly on the terminal to avoid rusting and connect the wire to it. Red wire to positive and black wire to negative. The technician explains the indicators on the charge regulator and the do's and don'ts. He also explains the maintenance and safety measures to be taken.
He takes the signature of the end user on the installation completion statement and warranty card. And then he hands over the warranty card and leaves. Thank you.